This is the region. Now, what is the Reese indices and the Miller indices? So this is the plane. Now this plane, this plane cut z axis at this point. This is the z axis. This is positive plus z, and this is minus z. So intercept for z axis is minus one. Clear? From this point, this is x axis, positive x, and this one is. Minus x. That means it cut x axis even at minus. So or in y axis it is parallel because it cannot cut y axis, right? That's why it is its intercepts are with respect to x axis minus one. With respect to y axis. Infinity and with respect to z axis minus, minus. minus. Okay. So now Miller indices just reciprocate. Now when we take reciprocal of this intercepts, it comes out to be minus one zero. It is written as one bar zero one bar. These are the Miller indices for this plane. Now, what are the intercepts with respect to x-axis? X-axis it is parallel, so infinity for and for y-axis it cut this at this point. That means this is minus one for z axis. It cut at this point. That is minus z. So it is infinity minus one and minus. Okay. So it is zero. Then the indices are zero, one bar. Okay. And this is the In this case, okay, this is z-axis, y-axis, and x-axis. See, for x-axis, this is positive x. So what about this? Minus x. And it cut at this x point. This is the plane. Cut at minus one. What about y? Again, it cut at this x. Minus y. Minus one. And what about that? Again, minus one. This reciprocal remains same. This is the plane, and origin is at this point. Z, y, and x. What are the intercepts with respect to x-axis? Positive. That means one. With respect to y-axis, again positive, again one, and with respect to z-axis, minus, minus, because it is minus z. So reciprocal remains same. But Miller indices.